tanto jugando suelto como en competición. Tanto si se trata de un rápido 9 hoyos o de un gran 36. Tanto si juegas bajo presión o arrasando, siempre das lo mejor de ti. Nuevo fue el de Food Joy. A little bit more crooked today. Um, did not hit many fairways. Like I, I truly think the number was three. Uh, I was never like not really in bad spots. 18 was not a good spot, but for the most part, it was close enough where it didn't really penalize me. But uh, did a good job hitting some good approach shots, keeping it in the right spots. So when I did miss, I was pretty easy up and downs and made a bunch of putts, especially on the back nine. Really got it going. There was a lot of good stuff out there, but obviously the finish wasn't what you wanted. Just walk us through those, those 16 and 18. Now. Yeah, 16. Um, it's playing so long, and I actually thought I had a pretty good tee shot, but uh, I guess the wind was kind of a little bit different direction than I thought, and so dropped a little left, hopped in the bunker, basically just no other play than to lay up, and I actually had a pretty good wedge shot from there, but just left the putt short. 18, um, I don't know if y'all saw that live, but that was that was a bit more tee ball than golf. Um, I was, I don't know, I, I should have done better from that, but. What, what was the deal with the line? It was, I'm not really sure I could have placed the ball and have, have it stay where it stayed. It was, like, in the rough, like, overhanging the bunker, but I had to stand in the bunker and hit it like this. And I went kind of under it, hit on the top of the face, and I probably only advanced it maybe 80 yards and didn't even get it back in the fairway. So, um, for, and honestly, from there, I still should have made par. Like, it, it was, you know, a bit of a mess up by the green, but... It is what it is. Uh, nine through two good, two days is, is pretty good golf. When you're in good shape, and you and I were just talking about how you love Pascal and you've had great success mm -hmm. out of the United States yeah. at a lot of tournaments. So, what is the what is the deal with the Pascal? I, I really, I, I'm not sure. Um, I feel really good. I feel really comfortable chipping on it, um, and I've putted well on it this year too. So I, I don't know. It's it's clearly a comfort thing. The chipping is nice because when I attack the greens with irons and things, I can kind of go at the pins without too much fear. Um, I don't feel like I'm too short-sighted here. I can get under the ball. It sits up a bit. Uh, but I, I really don't know what it is. Uh, I don't think I finished outside the top 25 this year on pass Palin, and you know, hopefully this week's headed towards another good finish. On the chat you mentioned on 18, did you think about taking a drop? No, a drop wasn't really an option. I mean, I could, but they, I, I could definitely hit the ball. I should have done better than I did. I mean, I was looking to just advance at 130 yards, and I just I went under it. Um, if I went back out there again, I'd, I'd do the same exact thing. Same club. I, I don't think I would really change anything. I'd just try and execute better. And you mentioned the comfort on past Palin. Is that the biggest thing you would pinpoint compared to the last couple of weeks where the results have been struggling, or is your game yeah. in a better spot? Honestly, overall? I played pretty well at Zurich last week. Um, I did a lot of good things, especially the first day. I think I made like six birdies. Uh, the putting was decent. I drove it really well the first day, hit some good iron shots. So um, I, I feel like it's been trending well. Obviously, past Palom helps the comfortability with that and knowing that I've had good results on it. I, I think it's just a bunch of different things kind of coming together and uh, hopefully leading to a good finish. How would you just assess your season as a whole and kind of your first season on the PGA Tour and how it's gone compared uh, to I mean, the start, it's been a little tentative. Uh, it's not... It hadn't quite been the golf I've wanted. I feel like I've played decent golf at times, but I haven't really put it together for one full week yet, um, like not four solid rounds. I think a lot of it is just learning new courses. You know, I had this past year on Corn Ferry when I was playing so well, that was my fourth year. Like, I knew every course. I was showing up. I, I knew what I wanted to do. It was just execution. And this year, you know, it's been a little bit more learning the courses, and uh, I think that's kind of led to some of the struggles. And then going into the flat, the weekend with the cha you know right in the mix, is there anything that you'll draw from from your time on KFT being in the mix that you'll look to yeah, apply? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've been in near the top before. I mean, I've played final groups and I've won a tournament on on the Corn Ferry Tour. So I don't really have anything else to draw back on. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to that. El nuevo Pro SL no tiene clavos, pero tiene un agarre increíble. Con una plancha de carbono adicional para optimizar el retorno de energía y un nuevo y moderno diseño, el zapato original de máximo rendimiento sin clavos tiene algunas ventajas importantes.